here in the Mount Stewart estate we're very lucky to have a reasonably strong population of red squirrels. Um, the work done here by the rangers has secured their future by removing any alien grey squirrels from the local environment. The grey squirrel is a American invader introduced to Ireland and every grey squirrel that you see across the country, believe it or not, relates back to the original 12 animals introduced to the country. A young red squirrel, uh, no more than about 20 feet from me at the minute. Um, it's being supplementary fed by the rangers here at Mount Stewart. Um, where you are feeding red squirrels, we strongly recommend that uh, you're prepared to control any grey squirrels that come in because it's the contact between the grey squirrels and the red squirrels that uh, spreads the disease and uh, leads to the loss of the red squirrels. Grey squirrels, as you probably know, carry a deadly disease called squirrel pox, which presents in red squirrels a similar to myxomatosis in a rabbit. Unfortunately, our red squirrels will die within about 10 to 14 days of contact with this disease. The spread of the grey squirrel has been dramatic, ranging across Ireland in less than a hundred years. It probably only entered Northern Ireland than, since the 1960s. And where it has established itself has led to dramatic losses on our native red squirrel population. These red squirrels that do hold on tend to be an isolated, normally commercial woodland. Um, the state here at Mount Stewart is probably one of the few exceptions where you've got mixed habitat and the red squirrel hangs on by the dedication and hard work of the staff here. But we have to be honest, the only way we are going to keep a surviving population of red squirrels in Ireland is we have to keep the red squirrels and the grey squirrels separated and the only realistic way to do that is by control through culling. Uh, we recommend a very strict uh, culling policy that ensures legal uh, compliance and uh, the highest animal welfare standards possible. We take no joy from the, 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 the killing of these animals but it's a necessary evil if we want to maintain a native species and what it really does show is that just a small number of non-native species can cause absolute havoc and destroy a native population within a very short time frame. Being alert for any unknown native species and bringing these animals and plants under control at the earliest possible opportunity is the highest priority for us, but we need your help. The Basic Species Ireland supplies the information that you need to identify and control these non-native species. So visit www.invasiviespeciesireland.com for further information.